it's a narrative in this town. The Lions were uh, 4-0 the year they went 0-16 in 2008. So the preseason football games don't mean anything. And there is a element of truth to that. If a team starts well and they play well, nobody remembers the preseason. Nobody remembers the preseason really that much at all. All that stuff. Not my first rodeo, I understand that. But having said that, it was really disappointing the way the Lions played on Friday. Because if you're looking for year-to-year -year growth from Bob Quinn's draft picks, you just didn't see it. Taylor Decker, he played terribly. I mean, that's even worse than he played last year when he was playing with one arm after he came back from shoulder surgery. Look, I expect Taylor Decker to be a lot better than that, but he was awful in that game. Pro Football Focus had his pass blocking grade at 21. Hey, look, nobody else, everybody else was more than double that. I mean, it was beyond, it was the worst grade I've ever seen. Uh, pro Football Focus ever give a player for a game. Taylor Decker had it. He was 37th of the 37 players that they graded in that game. Jared Davis, bad in pass coverage after he was bad in run coverage. He doesn't get off blocks and he struggles in pass coverage. That's what happened when he was a rookie. That's what's happened so far in the preseason. Tease Tabor, was he even playing? Second round draft pick corner, no impact. Michael Roberts jumping offside. You know, the tight end. Uh, it's just not, you know, Frank Ragnow at times looking like he, you know, he didn't know what he was doing, especially in the run game. Uh, low graded by pro football focus for his run block. You know, his pass blocking continues to be very good, although he didn't give Decker much help on that Olivier Bernier sack. I mean, it's just like one player after another. I think Kerryon Johnson looked good. That's fine. But what about Ashawn Robinson? Where is he going to take a step forward? So, Look, uh, this game coming up, you know, if you're a Lions fan, you hope that those players, because they're so important to the Lions now, and they're the nucleus for what they're trying to build in the future, which might be a championship, play better. Don't, you know, so don't sit back and say, it really didn't matter. No, it'll only not matter if they don't get better and get better soon, because you know what? Monday night football is coming up, and they're expected to just throttle the Jets on Monday night football at home. And you know what? If they play like they did or remotely like they have in the preseason so far, they're going to get their butts kicked. So it does matter. It does matter if they continue to play at such a low level. And it's disappointing. And hold Patricia accountable like you would Caldwell. If Jim Caldwell was still coaching that team and it played like that, you'd be up in arms. So don't give them an out. Don't give them an excuse. Hold the Lions accountable.